Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Arch Nemesis League 3.17. In this episode, I'm going to be double corrupting uh, these large cluster jewels, eight passive, uh, renewal, run and claws, vicious bud with an extra small passive skill, uh, and then going for double corruptions. Well, let's see what we can get. If you've ever used a jewel, like the video. And if you guys like the video, then hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And let's get uh, 100 likes in two days on this video. Thank you guys for all the support, and enjoy the video. Stay till the end to find out how I increase my damage massively in my Karyon Golem build uh, with just a gem swap again. Huge improvement. Uh, some build updates at the end. At time of recording, these uh, jewels with the Renewal, Rod and Claws, Vicious Bite uh, was 11 to 12x, and the Double Corruptions were like 1.7, 1.8x. Uh, this gamble is 112x, it's 8 of the Large Cluster Jewels and 8 of the Double Corruptions, 112x jambles. Are right, my good luck charm ready? Renewal, Rod and Claws, Vicious Bite, Double Corruption, boom! Boring. You guys ready? You guys ready? Uh -oh. Boom! And it's gone. Uh, Damn. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go, boom! And it's gone. Uh, here we go, let's go again. Boom! Nope. This is the one, I can feel it. Ready? What are we gonna get? 2%. It's gone. Final one. Boom! And nothing happened. Boring! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Totem placement speed. Oh! Avoid stun? And, and global crit strike chance. <gasps> so with the extra 20% chance to uh, avoid being stunned, I was over uh, the amount of stun avoidance. So then what I did is uh, I swapped jewels in the build, these harmonies to avoid bleed and shit. Uh, so then with uh, this point over here, 30% and uh, two 25s, I'm up to 80%, and then I got uh, another one for 20%, and I'm bleed immune and stun immune. Hello, time to update you on the build. What improvement did we make? Uh, basically, zombie six link. What? Okay, Um, now I'll tell you about it. So, the what happened is people asked me what I thought about the squire carry-on golem. And then I asked for a POB, and someone linked a POB, and then someone else, like, within 10 minutes, also asked me about Squire carry-on golems. And so I asked for another POB, and I get a POE ninja, and I look at the build, and after looking at it, in his main weapon, in the, like, claw, you know, the weapon, or the dagger, you know, the thing that gives you the 17 link, um, with the Squire, he put carry-on golem, zombie, empower, 4. And I was like, oh, he put a zombie in it. Is that more damage? And then I check mine. I put zombie from my helmet into my six link with my carry-on golem instead of ruthless support. And so the zombies are now a five link and the carry-on golem is a five link. So we have four carry-on golems doing pretty good damage. And then nine zombies doing way more damage. And then because of the extra socket in the helmet, you get extra mam too. Uh, an anomalous maim increases the effect of the maim, which is the slow, so 36% slow instead of 30%, uh, but this should be 10% increased damage, and then 20% more fizz damage for the animate guardian animate, uh, chest plate. He has the physical explode chest plate, which does physical damage, so it should work with the more physical. I don't think it will mim because it's not an attack, but the attack of the anime guardian can mim, and then uh, the zombies are really sick in the chest plate. Uh, the only downside I found is, obviously, they have a slightly lower level than the helmet by one, and then the other one was uh, they get the minion level from awakened minion damage, and the awakened minion damage makes them have 25% less life, so my zombies went from like 68k to 49,000 so they're a lot squishier 
but then we gained damage, like I said, so it's actually an improvement, and we gained the gem slot, and it was a link on our animate guardian and our spectre, which is actually massive, so then we get feeding frenzy, maim, spectre, ag, and then you have the zombie, uh, caring golem, and they have the awakened multi on each of them, awaken melee fizz, awaken brutality, and your awaken minion damage, it's, it's really, gr really gross, um, I guess while I'm at it, uh, I might as well mention it, uh, I replaced a jewel, for this melding of the flesh. Someone will ask, well, how, what did you replace? At the time, uh, what I did is I took out the grace stuff and I replaced it with one of the purities. So which purity you go doesn't matter. I did purity of fire because I have the watcher's eye for, um, this is disgusting. Uh, determination, determination, and purity of fire. So lots of physical damage reduction and then the vulnerability immunity, but we're already immune to bleeding because of the avoid bleed and uh we have some curse reduction because of the bottled faith but this is really cool it was just an extra mod why not um and then the other idea i had was i'll actually show you i already i already got one and um give me a second here so where'd i put it here and it was a mega megalomaniac this is worth it i promise okay look at this i was able to get all right this is my secret tip so i figured out with the uh melding flesh so the way this works is it gives you a big fat negative res and you have to make up the difference so what i did is i switched um increased evasion to additional elemental res during flask this covers the res and then um the what this does is by raising one of my max reses with purity of fire all of them get raised 84s um so then the idea here is uh i got a megalomaniac and it's max fire which would give me all le res 86 and then uh life and i have rotten claws uh and so i could get 100 percent impale without the dread banner it's really cool. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but it, it was really cool that this is a possibility and that you can actually do more options of max fire or lightning or cold or whatever. And another thing is then the boots and the gloves and the helmet. The Searing Exarch is actually uh, possibly max uh, elemental res. So you could change the minion damage or the minion life to a max LE res with a different purity. Purity of fire, um, the max fire res is the boot and searing exarch is brittle ground. So you don't want to overlap your brittle ground. So we, it's kind of bad in this uh, one. I can't actually raise it through my, through my glove implicits. But you normally would be able to with the new influence uh, if you didn't do purity of fire. Yeah, and want brittle ground. Then the main idea is uh, you're taking, so instead of 24% elemental damage, you're only taking 16%. Um, and so it's like massive elemental damage reduction, and uh, it, it makes a huge difference. Instead of having evasion, which only um, mitigates the, like the number of attacks that hits you, it doesn't actually mitigate how much an attack does to you, it's just how many hit you. And so this is actually mitigation of all elemental damage, which is really sick. Uh, then you notice squishier to like physical and chaos, and then also the physical taken as an element is actually even better when you have higher elemental. It's really cool, uh, really sick. So finally got my last corruption on my jewel, got my 100% stun, I already had the 100% stun avoidance, but now this allows me to fit in the 100% bleed avoidance too, so we're bleed immune with this, and then I didn't need the extra reservation for the mana, we still have an extra 55, we're good on that, we have the 84 max reses through the melding of the flesh over the grace, and then we also have the extra uh zombie in the six link instead of the ruthless like so many changes uh it's crazy that we're this point in the season and i still make this many changes to this build uh thank you guys for watching thanks for hanging out my final thing i'm gonna end on is look at this playtime goddamn uh thank you guys so much for uh watching and uh yeah if you guys have ever used a jewel hit that like button and let's get 100 likes in two days on this video and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye